questions for him. Jalen, uh, first day of uh, fall practice, uh, how did it go for the old line? It was great. It was fun. It was competitive. Of course, you know, Coach Mirabal, you know, he's the same coach. You're going to hear us every year. He's going to place us in different spots. And then, of course, we don't have a depth chart. We don't have a starting, nothing. You're going to see a lot of us moving around. So we're competing every day to get the starting job. Everybody. What do you guys feel like is the biggest thing you guys need to accomplish between now and opening in week one, game one month? What's the biggest priority for you guys? I mean, just competing. We got, we can't just be complacent. We got to compete every day because nobody has a starting spot. I mean, yeah, you might think me, Zach, Coop, everybody, but we got to earn that spot too. It's a new year, so we got to compete every day and not let up. Jalen, what, stri what strides have you seen from Matthew McCoy since he got here? Kind of where he's at right now. Oh, Matthew, we, uh, Matt McCoy, he's you know a great addition to this team. I mean, when he first came in, you had to stay on him a lot. You still do. But you don't got to stay on him as much. So he's shown signs of maturity and, and improvement in his game as well, of not letting the coach or the older guys having to stay on him. He's gotten to the point where he's like, OK, I understand. I've been here for a few years. I know what it takes to be offensive lineman here at Miami. And then also, m many of you guys have tackle guard, but he's a guy that can tackle. Or this is kind of how it's going to be. do you think he's kind of fit? Maybe some advice you've given him uh, at the guard spot? I mean, like, I, um, like as we all know, I came in my second year and third year starting that guard, and then now last year, left tackle this year is probably tackle. So, I mean, I'm that guy right there for him. Like, hey, I did this. You can't come in thinking, oh, you're just a tackle. You're just a guard, you're offensive of lineman. So I gave him tips every day. And of course, you see him moving from guard to tackle. I'm doing the same thing. So I'm right here for him, and we're going in that same path. Jalen, uh, you have Cam Ward now, new quarterback, but also yeah. one of your teammates said that one of the best things about him is he's been able to take you guys out, kind of talk about the relationship, building that chemistry, and getting comfortable to be able to trust him on the field. I mean, that's very important. You got to know who you're blocking for. You got to know the guy that you're playing with. So that camaraderie that we did throughout really the spring and the summer, it hasn't stopped. We're still going to do it, and it's going to continue because you got to keep building that relationship with your quarterback, with anybody on the team. So, I mean, I, I'm appreciative of Cam, and I continue to, you know, I want to continue that relationship with him past this year and, you know, for the rest of my life. Jalen, a lot of uh, talent on the defensive line, mm -hmm. including a couple new faces like Barrow and Barron who weren't here for the spring. Mm -hmm. Talk about going up against that group and how they can make you guys better. I mean, we're, they're going to make us better. They're one of the top, you know, defensive lines. I mean, this is probably the best defensive line I face while my time is here, my time here. So getting us better each day, we're going to compete every day, and those are the guys are going to get us better. You know, the, you know the phrase, iron sharpens iron. We're one of the best offensive lines, I feel like I know. And we're going up against the best D-line, I feel like, in the nation. So that's going to get each other better. What's your initial impression of Tyler Barron? He seems to have a bit of a different skill set compared to the other guys in the field. I'm very, I'm very impressed. He's a big body. He's strong. He's quick. And I feel like he's going to get us better. So he's a great addition to the defensive line. Sorry if you answered this because I didn't hear the first question. Just like the first day, you know, getting things started. Mm -hmm. like, how are you feeling? How is the team feeling? What was that energy like out there on the field? I mean, the energy was great. Everybody excited to come back and play football. Of course, we don't have pads on, but we got a little bit of pads on. So it's great for everybody to come out and compete. And that's what we love. Our number one thing is just to compete every day because we love to get each other better. And so every drive, every period is competitive, whether it's indie, team reps, one-on-ones, anything. Mm -hmm. Jalen, just uh, Zach Carpenter is obviously adjusting to a new team mm -hmm. and the team adjusting to him as well. So how's that transition going both ways with Zach Carpenter? I mean, I feel like as well, when he came in, of course, it was harder. Of course, he came in in January, that springtime. He didn't really know anybody, but I feel like we do a good job as a team welcoming in the new guys. So he's very comfortable now. He's, what, seven months in? And I couldn't ask for a center, a better center. Any other questions for Jalen? Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Ooh. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.